Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to add custom cubic Bezier easing curves to your custom animations for banner exports from Figma using the Bannerify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go up to the resources icon here and if you click on that and search for Bannerify, so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y and if you click on the Bannerify results, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon and clicking save plugin and that's just going to save the figma plugin to your list for easy access later so i've already gone ahead and done that so i'm going to go to my canvas i'm just going to right click anywhere i'm going to go down to plugins then i'm going to go down to saved plugins and just click on the bannerify item and that's just going to run the plugin that we just saved a second ago so to get started uh, the way that bannerify works is it basically treats any frames that are on your current page as banners so i've got a bunch of different figma frames here and each of those just have a few uh, text and image layers and then these basically get treated as banners in the plugin so you can choose which banners to load up uh, i'm just going to load up a few of them so i'm just going to load up these three for today and load those in and once it loads you can see that all of the layers from each of these frames basically get inserted into your timeline in the plugin where you can then apply animations and we'll be able to then export those to either HTML or GIF or video files. So for this particular tutorial, I'm not gonna be going through all of the different details of the plugin, but I am gonna be going through how to add custom easing to your custom animations. So to do that, we just click on the custom animations button in the header. And that basically brings open this keyframe editor that we can use to build our own totally custom animations. So for example, if I wanted to make uh, my keyframe animation go from left to the center, so in this case, I'm just going 100 pixels from the left to the center, uh, that's basically how you do that. And then that's the first keyframe. The second keyframe, we can make that go uh, even further to the right. So if we wanted to do something like that, we could do that. We can also add new keyframes, so we can insert another keyframe at 50% or anywhere. And then we can make uh, that keyframe do something totally different in the middle as well. So we could make it kind of bounce or do any kind of keyframe. I'm just gonna remove that one from now and I'm just gonna keep this really simple for today. So in this particular case, I'm just gonna add a animation that rotates from the left over to the right. So in our first keyframe, I'm just gonna set a bit of a rotation value on the uh, keyframe, the first keyframe. And then you can see here on the right-hand side, it's just getting uh, basically back to normal rotation. So it's just going from negative 185 degrees to zero. And we can see here that we've got a normal easing applied to it. So in the animation easing drop down here, we've got ease selected, which is just the default easing. We can also change that to things like linear, which doesn't add any uh, sort of jump or kind of effect to it. It's just a very linear uh, path to path animation. And then there's also some other presets like ease in, ease out and ease in out. But for today, we really wanna add a new custom easing. So we can click on this cubic Bezier option. And what that does is it allows us to paste in a custom CSS Bezier. So if we click on this link here, it'll basically take us to this website where we can generate custom cubic Bezier rules. So you can see here, there's a few presets. If we click on these, it'll show you what that transition uh, is gonna look like, what that easing looks like. Uh, we can change the category here. So if we want to do ease out, we can do ease out, we can do ease in, uh, all different types of uh, easings. In this particular case, I'm just going to stick with ease in out and I'm just going to set it to this uh, easing over here. So we've got this uh, easing that I kind of like. So to copy it, we can just click on this little uh, button down here and copy that. And if we go back to our animation, paste it into this input here, that will basically apply the cubic Bezier curve that we've just added to the plugin. So you can see here that the easing is much, much different in the preview than it was with the typical uh, default easing. So if we switch that back to the normal easing, you can see here that it's basically uh, very smooth, very, uh, it's not 100% linear, but it's quite linear, not as linear as the normal linear option. But if we then switch that back to our custom one to preview that, so click on custom Bezier, 
and we've still got our rule in there. So we've got our custom phase here and you can see that it starts off very slow and then dashes much faster towards the end. So this is how you can use custom Vazier curves to totally customize the easing in your animations. And then to save the animation, all we need to do is give it a name. So we can say uh, cubic uh, ease, and we're just gonna add that as a new animation by clicking add new animation. And now that we've got that added to our animation, we can now apply that to any of our layers just by changing the setting of that layer. So for example, if we wanted to animate this button in, like that, we could just go to the button, change the intro animation to cubic ease under the custom uh, group. So we click on cubic ease. And now if we play that back again, you can see here that uh, it's basically doing the rotate animation that we added. So if we play that in, that's just getting added in like a crazy animation now. Uh, probably not the best fit for this particular layer, but you can see what that looks like when we do uh, add it in. So you can of course go back and edit that. So if we decide it's a bit too crazy, we can go back in, click on the saved animations drop down, go back down to our cubic ease one that we saved. And then we can change this to be a little bit more uh, reasonable. So if we jumped back into the 100% frame and just made it end up at zero. So instead of going to 100, we'll just go to zero. So it's just gonna end up where it started. And then maybe we can add a bit of opacity uh, change as well. So on the first frame, I'm just gonna make the opacity start at zero and I'm gonna make it uh, fade up to one, which is 100% on the second frame. So to update the animation, we can save that uh, update. So we can just click on update saved animation. If you wanted to save it as a new animation, you can do that as well. You could do uh, cubic ease new and that would allow you to save it as a new one. If you click on add new animation, that'll basically create a fork or a copy as a new animation. But in this case, I'm just gonna click update saved animation and update our existing one. So I've just updated the cubic keys animation. And if I go back to my timeline, you can see here that the update's automatically been applied to the existing selected custom animation that we had. So if I click on play, you can see here that this time it's fading in and rotating in into the spot that it's originally appearing in in Figma because we changed the 100% keyframe to be zero uh, as far as the X translation goes. And you can see that the cubic Bezier easing is being applied as we'd expect. So that's just getting uh, thrown out now. And we can also export this uh, as a GIF or a video or an HTML banner. So I'm just gonna copy this animation from my button. So I'm just gonna click on copy and I'm gonna apply that to all of the CTA buttons in my banner set. So I'm just gonna click on the quick select button. That's gonna select all of the CTA buttons automatically. Then I'm just gonna click paste and that's gonna apply it. So then I can just click apply and that's gonna apply my animation to all of the CTA buttons. So if we now go to the top one, uh, you'll see here that the rotation animations also now being applied to this uh, button as well. And then we can export that out just by clicking on export to GIF or video. So in this case, I'm just gonna click export to GIF or video. Uh, today, I'm just gonna be rendering out to a WebM just to do a quick video export. So this will basically go through and export all of your banners in the timeline out to a video. And you can see here that it's rendering out all the frames from our timeline, uh, including the cubic easing uh, custom ease that we just added to the CTA button. So I'm gonna click on download your zip file. I'm gonna save that to my desktop. I'm going to open up the zip file. And if we open up that folder, you can see here that we've got our videos uh, exported and we've just got this index.html file that we can use as a bit of a preview. So if we drop that into the browser, I'm just gonna drop that file in. And you can see here that it's playing back our videos uh, as we'd expect. So that's just gonna keep looping because it's a preview page. And you can see here that the book now button is flying in from the left with our custom animation and custom cubic Bezier easing that we created in Bannerify. So yeah, that's a pretty basic run through of how cubic Bezier easing works, how it can be used in the Bannerify plugin. So using a site like this or generating your own custom uh, cubic Bezier CSS easing curve, and then just copying that CSS cubic Bezier path from here or whatever other site you wanna to use to generate it and just dropping it into your custom animations uh, easing panel whenever you've got the cubic Bezier easing option selected and that will let you paste that right in. 
So yeah, we'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to go through this new feature in Vanerify so you can add custom cubic Bezier easing curves now. This should make it much more flexible uh, to customize the type of animation style that you want to use when you're creating custom animations uh, for your Figma banners in Bannerify. Hopefully this will uh, free up your creativity a bit more and allow you to create some really neat uh, custom animations to export from Figma. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.